Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. Screencast Online subscribers are much more sophisticated than most people, and so we all know the value of running on site and off site backups in case of a hardware failure, maybe theft, or even worse, a natural disaster. As Mac users, we have many good options for backing up our Macs. As a minimum, we have the built in tool from Apple, Time Machine. In my tutorial about doing a nuke and pave, also known as a clean install, I mentioned SuperDuper and Carbon Copy Cloner for local clone backups. I've recently converted to Carbon Copy Cloner, and I have to say that I'm very impressed with how much more capability is available in this backup and clone tool. Whether you've never used Carbon Copy Cloner before, or if you're a longtime fan of the software, I hope to be able to teach you something new you've never discovered about this fantastic tool. Carbon Copy Cloner can create a full clone bootable backup. This is an exact replica of your disk, which is exactly what you need when you run into the worst kinds of disasters. You can also copy just some files and copy just some folders. You can back up and recover from a disk image that you stored on network attached storage. You can even back up to another Mac. These backups can be scheduled so that you don't have to remember to run them, which is probably the most important thing you can have in a backup and clone tool. Carbon Copy Cloner allows you to manage multiple backup tasks and even group them together. If you're a super duper user and you're considering switching, Carbon Copy Cloner can adopt your clone backup. I let Carbon Copy Cloner pick up right where super duper left off and it was a completely seamless experience. Before we get started with Carbon Copy Cloner, if you're running a Mac that has a T2 security chip in it, which most of the later ones do, I'd like to suggest that you go over to this support article about startup security utility from Apple. On this page, they explain to you that there are certain precautions that have been taken on your behalf, and one of them affects whether you can boot from a bootable external backup like we're going to make with Carbon Copy Cloner. It's pretty easy to turn off this toggle, and they've got a screenshot here that shows you exactly how to do it. It is entirely up to you whether you want to disable this security feature. I have chosen to do it to allow booting from external media because I would very much like to be able to boot from my bootable backup in the case of a hardware failure. Carbon Copy Cloner is available from Bombic.com. And on the website, they have a free 30-day trial. They highly recommend that you take advantage of that full 30 days to ensure that you understand exactly how it works before you purchase. If you go to buy now, you'll see that it costs $39.99 and you can order now. I've already bought it and installed it, so let's switch over to Carbon Copy Cloner for the first time. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.